All right, so here I have with me the Lilliput A7S monitor, a budget seven inch film monitor for your camera slash filmmaking setup. Is this monitor for you? Let's find out. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Jonathan, I'm from Singapore and I recently got a new monitor. This is again, this is the Lilliput A7S field monitor. Right, so the main reason why I got a monitor in the first place is to make sure that when I'm doing videos like these, I nail all the important camera settings such as the audio levels, making sure that they don't clip, making sure that the focus is, in, is right, making sure that exposure is set correctly, making sure that the composition is also set correctly. Also, with the 30 minute recording limit on the A7 Mark III, which is the camera that I'm using right now, with the monitor, I'm able to see whether the camera is still recording or whether it has stopped recording. So those are the main reasons why I wanted to get a monitor. So with that being said, let's move on to a brief introduction of the monitor and let me just share with you my experience using it thus far. Let's go. Alright, the A7S is the first Lilliput monitor to feature a 7-inch 4K input. Facilitated by a HDMI 1.4 input, the A7S is a solid choice for Ultra HD filmmakers and photographers alike. The Lilliput A7S features the first full HD native panel, clocking in at a pixel resolution of 1920 and 1200 pixels. The A7S features a HDMI loop through function, meaning you can connect the output of this monitor via HDMI to any other device with a HDMI input. A great solution for extended screen viewing. The A7S has two customizable function keys, meaning you can program them to allow for a shortcut through to your favorite and most used in monitor functions without needing to scroll through comprehensive menus. The monitor is supplied with a battery plate compatible with the Sony F970 type batteries. When it comes to mounting options, the most common is the shoe mount adapter, which screws into a one quarter inch threaded hole at the bottom and at the top of the monitor. So when I was first getting a monitor, I had to decide whether I want a 5 or 5.5 inch or a 7 inch monitor. Same to you, I think the first thing that you need to decide is whether you want a smaller monitor or a bigger monitor. Personally for me, I got the 7 inch monitor because there is so much more screen real estate. The screen on the 7 inch monitor is a lot wider, a lot bigger, a lot clearer than the screen on a 5 inch monitor and I think it comes in real handy when you have to make sure that you know your camera settings are set correctly. So after deciding I wanted a 7 inch monitor, the next thing that I had to consider was my budget. I wanted to get a 7 inch monitor within my budget of 150 Singapore dollars. And truth to be told, there isn't much around. On Amazon, the original price of this monitor comes at double of my budget at 300 Singapore dollars. I don't have that amount of money, so I got it second hand. So I had to buy an NPF battery to power this monitor. Specifically, I bought the NPF 970 battery and honestly, it packs a punch. Just very simply, with just like that, you the monitor turns on, like that. Right now, I like the fact that it is portable and right, you don't need a power socket you can just rely on the battery to provide power to the monitor. Right, so with that being said, there are still a few things that bug me when I was using the monitor. So if you're ever considering getting this specific monitor, just consider these few things. All right, the first thing is this, you need to actually know how bulky a 7 inch monitor actually is when compared to a 5.5 or a 5 inch monitor. Because of its size and its bulkiness, you need to make sure that when mounted onto your camera, it has to be mounted very securely to a point where it doesn't shake and just fall off like that. This adapter helps in mounting the monitor onto your camera via the Koshu mount. However, in my opinion, I think it needs to be more robust, all right, because it feels kind of weak. It feels a bit flimsy, it feels like plasticky, doesn't feel strong enough to hold a 7-inch monitor like that. When compared to monitors such as the Field World monitors, 
there are mounting solutions, the metal bracket thingy that enables you to swivel the, the monitor. It, that is definitely more robust than this tiny adapter that comes with the Lilliput A7S monitor. So other than that, I actually suggest getting a cage for your camera and then mounting a monitor on the cage. I think this would definitely help in the overall stability and robustness of your camera slash filmmaking setup. All right, so this is the second thing that I realized that I should have done a bit more research. So I got this monitor because I wanted to use the entire screen for my image, right? However, to view the entire screen, I would actually need to go into the Sony settings uh, and I believe it's under the HDMI info display. I have to make sure that that setting is turned off. All right, so only when you turn that setting off, you are then only able to see the image on the entire monitor screen. If the HDMI info display setting is turned on, you are only getting this image on your screen. All right, so as you can see, you're able to see the settings, you're able to see everything. However, you're not using the entire monitor screen. All right, so this is something that I felt like I should have done more research on. I wanted to use the entire monitor screen and to be able to see um, my camera settings at the same time. You know, so this is something that I think you should take note as well. So in conclusion, I think this monitor is a decent monitor. If you're on a budget, you know, this is relatively priced if you get it secondhand and you get premium features such as 4K display as well as a seven inch screen, which I think is more than enough. I will definitely be using this in upcoming videos and I hope that it will encourage me to make more videos like this. All right, so with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. You know, if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, do give it a like and subscribe for similar content like this. So once again, my name is Jonathan and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.